Thank you. Thank you. I'm very tired. I'm getting a ride. I'm on the train. No. Yeah, it's a train. Hi hey guys, I'm Dorjean here. I just found, this is near my house. It's about 15, 20 minutes from my, 20 minutes from my house, up in the mountains. Oh. He gets it down fast, man. His bike's upright, and then he goes to like full lean, just like, poof, just flicks it over. That's one of the biggest differences between pros and racers, like just your regular racer. The, the, the ability to flick it over fast to go from straight to like full lean like just for force it down like just go J -j -j. most people do this but racers can just go instantly from one angle to another that they want and if that and then if the one angle is from like straight up and down to the other angle being all the way down to do that in an instant is amazing Because if you're to go past that point, if you're if you're to go past that all the way down, you crash. So you're, you're taking it all the way down in a fraction of like a fraction of a second. And if you go past that point, if you're a little bit too aggressive, then you crash. And if you're you know, and, and if you don't take it all the way down, and you're leaving it to the last minute, like the last moment, like he is, he's 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 entering a a sharp turn upright, and then he's flicking it down. If he doesn't flick it all the way down, well, then he goes off the road. And if he does flick it too far, then he crashes. So he's just, he's flicking, he's flicking it to the exact amount, you know. I got my bike on just so that this camera will stay on. I used to have the camera set up so that I could turn it on and off while the bike was off, but I didn't like it because I was always worried that I'd forget it on when I parked my bike at night and then come back to the bike with the dead battery. So I had them do it, um, had them redo it so that it, uh, it wouldn't do that. She's in the wrong place to take. That's like the safest place to take pictures from, but it's not the best place because all you're going to see is a side view of him going like this or this, and you're not even going to see the angle that that he's reaching. With me here, I can actually see it. Like when he comes around this corner, I got it head-on view, and you can fully see his lean angle from a side view. From a side view like that, it's going to look like shit in the picture. Anyway, so... When I came around this corner the first time and I saw these guys on the side, I got my knee down. Oh, pretty much all the way around. Well, no, 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 I'm exaggerating. I started around midpoint. So for the first part, I didn't have it down. And then around midpoint, I got it down. And then all the way out the exit, I had it. So from, from midpoint to past that wall. Hey, sometimes you guys ask me about food and Chinese food and what do I eat here, what do I like that's not Western. Uh, this is something I like, oddly enough. It's called nu nu <sighs> fan. fan. I don't know what that means, nu ro. I don't know what the nu means. Ro is meat and fan is rice, so it's nu, whatever the hell that means. Meat rice. <laughs> And uh, I, I, I've commented before, I don't like to eat pig. I try to avoid pig. Um, they don't make this with beef or chicken, so I don't have a choice. But what it is, everyone's a hypocrite. Uh, what it is, is it's pig fat and rice. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It's just like, I guess they add a little bit of other stuff in for flavoring, I guess. But it's mostly just like 
the fat of a pig and then the oil and it's 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 cooked with a little bit of spices or whatever you know something for flavoring and then uh, the juice from the fat is put on the rice and then yeah and I added an egg a tea egg <laughs> I don't know why like I know other foreigners are like yeah I can't eat that because it's all fat and I'm like yeah it is but I like it